Uh, welcome to Tony Sofa Training by Joseph Udokan. What is Tony Sofa? Tony Sofa or Tony Sofa is a pedagogical technique for teaching sightseeing invented by Sarah Ann Glover, 1785 to 1867 of Norwich, England, and popularized by John Corwin, who adapted it from a number of earlier musical systems. It uses a system of musical notation based on movable do suffix, whereby every tone is given a name according to its relationship with other tones in the key. The usual staff notation is replaced with anglicized suffrage syllables, e.g., do, re, mi, va, sol, la, ti, do, or other abbreviations, d, r, m, f, s, l, t, d. Do is choosing to be the tonic of whatever key is being used, thus, the Terminology movable do. Tonic sofa is a system for singing which makes use of seven letters of the alphabet and small letters are used to show them. For example, looking at this D2 to D superscript 1. The song begins with a low pitch and rises until it gets to the highest pitch. Pitch. From D2 to D is called an octave. And from D to D superscript 1 is an octave. Actually, this last one is supposed to be D2. So you change it to D2. So... If we are singing it progression one, we sing it as do re mi va so la ti do re mi va so la ti do re mi va so la ti do. You can see that I am beginning to stretch, so my pitch cannot rise very well to this last three sounds if i want to descend i can descend from the top to the bottom so you can see i'm going from the top so my pitch or my voice or frequency is falling now how is it pronounced just for the sake of you need to know it from d it is pronounced do re mi va so la ti that is if you take from any part here yeah? do re mi va so la ti all right now let's go to beats because you'll be seeing colon colon here yeah? colon here yeah? after f sub, sub, uh, subscript one colon what are they they are beats so if you see a colon like this or a bar actually this slant bar is supposed to be a straight bar but even if it is a slant bar it also signifies one beat a dot in tonic sofa song arrangement represents half beat so half beat the dot and a comma represents three quarter bit three quarter bit then a comma alone represents one quarter bit then a slant a space colon space slant represents two bits you can put s here if you like after the bit then a slant dash then an hyphen dot represent one bit and half now let's go to application Let's go to application of what we have learned so far. If, let me sing this. 
but you can see let me sing the first line this first line has a full note signed for full beats that's then this is half beat this is another half beat this is super i mean subscript subscript that is l subscript one then between t and ray there's a half beat and um, there are four bits so from this bar to this bar we have four bits in a bar from here from this bar to this bar is another bar is four bit from here to here is another bar four bit from here to here is another bar four bit we want to count the bit is one bit this two this three because half plus half is one then this is four half plus so that's four bit now if i'm singing it this is how it will go do do mi do do mi va mi do so la ti re do re mi va mi i'll sing it again do do mi va mi do so 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 la ti re do re mi va mi so you'll discover that when i was singing this mi I waited for two. I drew this me sound for two beats. Me va before I now join. Va me. There's a drawing beat here and a pause here for one beat. Let me take it again. Do do mi va mi do so la ti re do re mi va mi. Now let us go to the second line. Do do mi re do do mi re va mi do so. Take note. In the first one it was do do mi va mi do, but in the second line it is do do mi re va mi. So I have introduced one quarter beat there, so that instead of me to sing mi. Mi va and as do mi re va mi re va mi va mi re va is still occupying one beat do do mi re va mi do so la so la ti do re do mi re mi va mi i take it again do do mi re va mi do so la ti do re do re, so la ti do re do mi re mi va mi so take note of this uh, so, this sound is faster mi re va ti do re ti do re now the third line i now introduce a three quarter beat between uh, and um, instead of me to sing do do and i'll do do re do mi va mi do so la ti re do re mi va mi do re do mi va mi do so la so la ti re do Re mi va mi. Okay, let's go to the second set here. It starts with the sound of the national anthem. Arise, the conversation. So, so do so do mi so mi va mi do re re mi mi. I have to change it here a bit. So, so, do, so, do, mi, so, one, two, mi, va, mi, do, mi, do, re, re, mi, mi. If you observe this from this slanting bar to here, there are three beats one, two, three. The fourth one is here, this one. That's why this one began without a slant. So, that makes it four over four. So do so do mi so mi va mi do re 
re mi mi so i can also introduce three quarter here introduce three quarter here introduce three quarter here these half beats two beats one and two that's two beats three quarter is here between m and m then half beat is here so now how is this done this one beat drawing so so do do so so do mi so take note so so do do so so do mi so mi mi va do re re mi mi so you take note now for the last line so so do do mi so do mi so mi va mi do ti do mi va mi do ti do re va mi va mi do ti do re va mi mi take note of this you need to do some practice there mi va mi do ti do re va mi mi take it again so do so do do mi so do mi so mi va mi do ti do re va mi mi so mi va mi do ti do re va mi mi so let's pause for now for you sorry for you to practice the above exercises in application one and after that i will get back to you to find your progress